Islam then began to say, the mutilation or kill is not something I did not order to do. But it did not displease me. Here we find mutilation of bodies is the way of the disbelievers. To mutilate the body, the Sharia, fiqh al-jihad that we find, fiqh of everything that we do, how we pray, how we fast, how we perform hajj, there are rules and regulations when people just want to come along and make their own fiqh. There is fiqh in everything. It's not allowed for a Muslim to mutilate a body of a disbeliever. It's not allowed to amputate, to chop off their noses, their ears, to mutilate their faces, to burn them, to kill children, to kill the elderly, to block the water, to burn them alive, to trap them, to poison the water. And you know, as a side, don't think about all of these points. What begins to take place today? The burning of innocent individuals, the killing of children, the killing of women, the killing of clerics, the poisoning of water, destroying individuals. And then we talk about a modern world. Oh, that happened by mistake. That happened to be by mistake. 5,000 children every month in the land of Iraq, they die. Because of the, 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 the contamination of water from the white phosphorus bombs that they've thrown down upon those individuals to this day, from that first war that we find. To this day, the people are dying and they're suffering. We do not know the impact of this bombing. Hiroshima bombing in what, 1942 or 1944 that we find. The dropping of little boy that we find. That bomb that's fallen 60 years ago. We find radiation, nuclear radi radiation to this day. Hiroshima still exists. Nagasaki still exists inside Japan to this day. Who dropped that nuclear bomb? That ton bomb that's dropped upon those people, those innocent people, has been proven today. The Japanese, Pearl Harbor, never bombed the Americans. They never attacked them. It was made to look like they attacked them so we could go and bomb them. And likewise today that we find innocent bombing that begins to take place, collateral damage. Innocent people are dying when well, this happens in warfare. This happens in warfare that innocent people begin to die. Not a few hundred, thousands have died. Thousands have died and people turn a blind eye to it. No one campaigns about it. No one says anything about it. If a dog died today in Europe, all hell would break loose. All hell would break loose if a dog died. If a dog died in Europe, the whole of Europe will stand up. Who tortured this dog? Who punished this dog? Who chained this dog? Who didn't feed this dog? A Muslim dies, pay no attention towards it. Because Muslim blood is cheap. Muslim blood has no value. Don't even waste your bullets on a Muslim. Because a bullet is more precious than a Muslim. So use just your dagger, use your sword to rip open the wombs of the pregnant women and to kill the innocent children. That's what's being documented. So mutilation is not the way the Sharia given to the Prophet Muhammad He never commanded that. He never ordered that. He never commanded us to go and kill innocent individuals. How can you find other people who worship God in their own way? Inside their churches, inside their cathedrals, cathedrals inside their monasteries. They should be left alone. They should be left alone. They should not be harmed. They should not be taken away. Their lives should not be taken away. These are teachings that we need to return back and help us to understand. Because unfortunately some Muslims, as they say, take the law into their own hand. Make their own interpretation of fiqh al-jihad. What is the fiqh of striving and struggling in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala?